Hey, hello, hello. Hey guys, it's Kimmy. Healthy Life with Kimmy. How is it going? I wanted you to see I'm at Planet Fitness today. I decided to go as a guest with somebody to um, to the gym for the first time in over 15 years. Over 15. I woke up this morning and it just felt like I needed something more. This is my weekend update. I'm going to call this my weekend update. I woke up this morning and I just felt like I needed something more in order to go along with my dieting. I mean, I've been doing my treadmill at home. I got a elliptical, but I just said, I'm going to go to the gym. So somebody um, asked me to go with them. So I went <laughs> and I'm at the gym, y'all, after 15 years. So actually, I've been to a gym before, like at a hotel. Um, my favorite method of working out is really walking. Uh, so I went to a hotel gym a couple of times and just did the treadmill is my MO. But um, my favorite mode of operation is doing a treadmill. But like I said, I felt like I needed some more. So I'm in the gym, no judgment zone, like they say. This is not an advertisement for Planet Fitness. I don't even think I'm a join. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, the thing for me about the gym is getting ready, driving there. <sighs> I don't know if I'll be feeling like all that. I'm going to tell you the truth. And, and, and again, I don't feel like I'm getting enough at home. I got on my cute little outfit stuff I ordered from Amazon. And I feel really cute coming to the gym this morning. Just forget everything else because I wasn't coming for a beauty contest. But um, I don't know. So I did the treadmill. I'm doing the arm things. I'm going to do a few of those. I stepped out for a moment. I'm going to do the arm things. Like going up. Because I want to tone some of this. I want to tone some of this. So what I'm thinking is. I may come back. Because the person with Planet Fitness. They let you bring somebody. So I may come back. But I don't know if I want my own membership. I'm already paying for Weight Watchers per month. I don't want to start paying a whole lot of money. For a whole lot of stuff. Under the pretense of. Girl you about to get snatched. And get fit. You know. So, I'm feeling good um, overall. The only thing about this gym thing is, again, I don't know that I want to get dressed, drive up here, because it's like 20 minutes from my house. <sighs> I'm thinking I might go walk in the parking lot. What is your preferred method of working out? What do you do? Because we know just eating well is usually not enough. It's not. What do you do for working out? Do you like the elliptical, treadmill, if you can't move at all? Are you doing like sitting in your chair? Because my original purpose for this channel was to include some workout videos. So let me know if you're interested in that. I bought all the equipment, like little weights, um, bought a couple of outfits. So I could just step and stand in place and show you some basic moves i'm not certified but i do know a lot about working out i've been working at it for a long time so let me know if that's something you're interested in again they would be short little videos i have already written out what i want to do it's just a matter of making sure i can get the music because on youtube you got to make sure the music is not copyrighted so um, but that's what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and include a little weekend update here while I'm I, I'm talking. Some minutes you might hear again in my weekly weigh-in. So Thursday is my weekly weigh-in day. So Thursday night I had a little function I went to. And I did very well. I knew I was going there so I saved half of my points. And I worked around my points. So they, they had some sub sandwiches. So I had a little half a turkey sandwich. Only thing it had cheese on it. So I'm really getting ready to try to eliminate cheese. Or at least use it way less. Because cheese clogs me up. There is no other way to say it. So I'm really about to try to take cheese out of my diet. Um, I'm sick of being clogged up. That's the other piece. So I know what makes me go and what makes me don't. Oh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. What, what will clog me up? <laughs> Not what makes me don't. My mother had a fit if she heard me talking like that. But anyway, I haven't had breakfast, so my thoughts are kind of all over the place, too. But anyway, um, so I did well. I had the turkey and cheese sub, half, 
And then why I'm really proud of myself, guys, why I'm really proud of myself is because I had a piece of cheesecake. They had a chocolate turtle cheesecake. Oh, and I kept looking at it and I haven't been eating a lot of sweets. I told y'all that before. But I was like, ooh, I really want that. So I only had half of it. So when I put it in my Weight Watchers points, the whole thing would have been eight. But since it was so late at night, didn't need it anyway, plus the cheese. I had half of it, which was only four. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with my friends. I skipped the chips. I didn't have any drinks, no pop, no soda. I had water. And I did have a little empanada somebody made, homemade. So I put that in my points. So I put all that in my points. And I actually felt good about my choices. You know, um, that's the other piece of this with this Weight Watchers or whatever diet you're doing. We got choices and sometimes you may choose, today I want that. Today I want a piece of cheesecake and dog it, I had it and I enjoyed it. So, you know, day in the life of a dieter. That's what I need to call this, day in the life of a dieter. But I don't even like the word diet. A little bit sometimes I don't because it's a journey. It's a health style. Like I said before, I have no option but to go forward. So when you think diet, you think short term. I'm going to do it for 30 days. I'm going to do it for 60 days. And then I'm just not going to do it no more. No, I don't have a choice at this age, at this stage. At this age, at this stage, I have no choice but to go one direction. One direction. And that's forward. So... I'm going to go back in here. I thought I would skip out for a minute and just film this little video. So this is my first time back at the gym. And again, ain't nobody looking at me. No judgment. People my size, people larger, people smaller, all races, ethnicities, men, women, children. Some people brought their kids. I don't know what the policy is on that, but there are a few children in there. So uh, again, I'm not anti-gym, but I just don't know if I feel like the extra hassle. And for me, if it's not easy, I'm not going to do it. So I, I asked the lady all the questions I needed to to see if I even wanted to join. But again, right now, more than likely, I'll come as a guest. But I don't think that I will be joining. I just don't. Because I don't feel like getting dressed, putting on clothes, getting in the car, 20 minutes. And I know some people are going to give me a little pushback and say, well, look, Kimmy, you got to do what you got to do for your health. And if that means you got to get in the car and drive it, that's what you got to do. So I'm open to it. I'm open. But I just live such a busy life. And that's probably what got me into some of these health issues I have now is this busy life. I got to slow down and take time for me. But I feel better. I ain't going to lie. Now, I like their treadmill. I love their treadmill compared to the little one I have at home because I even got a little sweat going. I got a little sweat going, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm... I don't know. Tell me, do you go to the gym? What do you do for exercise? I asked this earlier in the video. What do you do? Because eventually, just eating right is not going to be enough. It's probably not. And considering that I don't always eat right, I need those extra steps, extra points, extra whatever um, things I get from working out. That helps offset some of that cheating that I do. Cause I don't do it perfectly y'all already know but these extra points and stuff I get from working out see I actually worked up a sweat in there yeah I did I don't usually do that in my home workout equipment I don't work up a sweat that's why I like to get out and walk I love walking I love walking but in my neighborhood we got these dogs and everybody don't obey the leash law so I'm quick to call the police on them don't like to but I should be able to walk in my neighborhood like they can walk in the neighborhood with their pet and get my walk on but I usually cannot so sometimes what I'll do is go um, to like a neighborhood parking lot I'm gonna talk about that in another video but I just find a parking lot and go walk by myself because I do like to do it by myself why because my husband he's taller his legs are longer he moves faster I have friends that are at a different fit level, fitness level than myself. So when I go walking with them, they like to walk faster. So that's why I kind of like to go by myself. I could do it at my leisure, how I want to do it, no pressure. But when I go with somebody else, yeah, the company is good. But then I had to stress up, oh, I'm not walking fast enough. Oh, 
they want to go they want to go faster they want to get their sweat on faster you know get their metabolism running quicker than what i'm doing or whatever so that's why i like to go by myself because i don't like all that added pressure you know and they don't mean to they just at a different fitness level and i'm usually the last one on the totem pole in the fitness area so it is what it is but i'm not mad at nobody like i said i'm not mad at nobody so i'm gonna go back in here i needed a little break i thought i would film this video about coming back to this gym after 15 years and what my thoughts were on it so this is my weekend update slash first time at the gym in 15 years yeah i'm not joining today y'all not joining today but i've enjoyed the experience and again i will come back but i'm not ready to commit ah uh, that's another video guys i do have an issue with commitment we're gonna talk about that in a, another video me and my commitment issues and i'm sure my commitment issues translate some kind of way into my diet everything go back to diet everything goes back to diet why am i overweight it all goes together so i have commitment issues and i'm gonna talk about that i'm gonna talk about it all right well until next time guys this is healthy life with kimmy i hope you're having a great weekend and i will see you soon bye